Hi, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And now we're going to finally be able to button this thing up. Um, as you know, a month ago or so, we had an issue with the uh, powered USB hub. Anyway, it damaged the logic board on it and the screen wouldn't work on it. So uh, we got another replacement logic board for it. Uh, put that in, but discovered that it was an i5 instead of an i7 processor. So contacted the eBay seller. He sent me another one, uh, took the board out of the iMac, put the new processor on it, but found out that uh, it wouldn't even fit in the socket because it was the wrong generation of the CPU. Uh, the one he sent me was a third generation. This needs a fourth generation. This is a 2012 late model and anyway so he did send me the proper processor we got it in we got it in so now we have an i7 in there and it works fine so the last thing we need to do is to get rid of all this beautiful blue painters tape here that's holding the screen on and we got a kit here and I've this is about the third or fourth time I've had to do this these are little adhesive kits you can get and you just uh, basically uh, make sure you get the right model if you have a 21, 27 inch iMac and make sure that's with the proper year. Uh, most of these will fit a variety of these 27 inches, but you always wanna make sure. So anyway, they're numbered for a reason. So you have the even numbers that go on up or down, side to side. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna get that uh, put on here. And I'm gonna show you how to stick this on here. Now, the hardest thing is, is when you take this apart you have to use a special roller tool to get that off and it looks something like this it's uh, got a very very sharp plastic wheel and the reason why and they give you extra bits here too and the reason why these are very sharp because it takes a lot of effort to cut through this uh, tape that they put on there especially if it's been on there for many years uh, the most hardest part is up here near the eyesight camera uh, it's very, very close to the wire, so you got to be a little cautious, but you just take your time and work your way down to where you can lean it out and disconnect the two wires on the screen, and then eventually uh, you'll lean it out and you still have some adhesive on the bottom here, and you have to kind of take that tool and kind of roll it inside of it to break that loose, and eventually you get it off. So, But the hard part is you got to get all that sticker stuff off, the adhesive off of the screen, and you have to get it off the aluminum frame because if you don't, it's going to stick out and won't stick flush and won't recess in there. So that's what you got to be careful. So anyway, we're going to take the tape off. We're going to lean the screen out, disconnect it, and then we're going to start applying the new tape. Okay, so we got the screen removed from it here. And like I said before, you want to make sure that on the back side of this, where it goes up that, on the outside of that shiny aluminum, that's the glass bezel, and that's what sticks to the aluminum frame. You want to make sure that all that glue is off of there, and it does take a while to get it off, and just be patient, and, uh, and if you got a, just a little residue, that's fine, but you want to get the 90 plus percent off of it. So anyway, we're all nice and clean here. You can see that for the Wi-Fi antennas up here and Bluetooth, and there's the eyesight camera. That's why I was telling you that you got to be really careful when you run that roller because you can damage that camera. So anyway, so now we're going to be ready to start doing this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over on the rubber mat because this thing slides too easily on that wood. Uh, if you had a towel down here, you'd probably be fine, but I'm going to put on rubber mat so it don't slip. So when we go to put this thing back in, that's the real challenge because I'll have it plugged in and I'll plug the cables in and then I'm going to power it up before I seal it up because once you seal it up, you're going to have a hard time getting that thing back off of there. So be back in a moment. All right. So I got my little adhesive strips all laid out here and it's pretty easy actually uh, to follow along. Uh, you're just going to kind of line it up here. You'll see this one's really obvious because it's got the two things that go over the, the antennas there and then the other side which I have on the computer there is right there now what I like to do is I like to put a little toothpick in there let me uh, zoom in here 
There we go. What I do is I like to put a little toothpick in there. There's little holes in these things. And it just, it just serves as a guide. So you just stick that in there. So that way it kind of gets it started for you. See, if I take it out, you'll see there's a hole there. And there's a hole down here. Same way with the bottom strip and the top strip. So anyway, yeah, it's pretty easy. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, go back and zoom out here. Okay. And there we go. So then what we're going to do is we're going to mount this on here. Okay. So there's a blue tab on this side. That's the adhesive on the back side here. And there's one on the front here for the adhesive on the the adhesive on the front side. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel the uh, back side off here first. So let's see, let's uh, pull this one off here. All right. And then there's another one here on the back side here. Okay. So let's pull this right here. This one right here, we're going to pull this one off here. This stuff is very, very sticky. So just grab it just at the very, very end here. Okay, so we got that off of there. And uh, yes, it will stick to everything now. So then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to get my little toothpick here. And again, this is just kind of going to get me lined up here. It's We can still adjust it. So I'm going to stick it through the hole here. And there's a little peg right there. So then what you want to do then is when you put this on here, you do not want to go, you want to stay back from the aluminum just a little bit. You don't want to go over it. You want to leave just a little bit of a gap there. Okay. So this is up here. This is down here. And then I'm just going to double check to see how close I am. And oh yeah, right there. We line up. Good. So we, so we got it here. Okay. So there we go. So this one. You just kind of run your finger on it, just kind of get the air bubbles out of it. And so, yeah. So now uh, we're going to do the other side now here. Still removing in there. Good. All right. So now we got these down. So we're going to peel this off here. Pull this one off here. Off here. We'll pull this one off the side here. And we'll pull this one off of there. All right, so we are ready to stick it down. All right, so I'm ready to put the screen down on it. Now I do have this plugged in. You can see the light on the motherboard uh, because I'm gonna hit the power button when I get the cables hooked up because like I said, I get one chance to do this. Uh, it's gonna be very hard uh, to pull that off uh, if you let it sit down there. So I'm not gonna try to risk that. So. I'm going to get the screen and I'm going to start setting it on here and then I'm going to have to cut away from the camera because I have to uh, put the connectors and stuff on it, okay? And make sure you clean the EyeSight camera before you put that on. Just make sure you don't have no thumbprints or anything on it. You might want to take a little flashlight and just shine on it to make sure you don't see any glue or anything you might have accidentally got on it. And you want to do that on the screen too. 
Okay, all right, we're good. So now we're going to uh, put this back on and I'll turn the camera back on when I get it to where we, we're gonna get it on there. So I got to move this here and I'll be back. So I got the power cables hooked up and I'm just going to turn on make sure that the screen comes on and the screen's on. Sweet. All right. And you can make sure that's down all the way on there. That's it. Now I can clean the screen up, get all that tape off. I just put this so it wouldn't kick out on me. Um, I don't have the keyboard turned on here. So, but anyway, uh, you can see when I push on it here, that's it. But anyway, there you go. That's how you put the screen on it. And the screen is back on it and it's powered up. And we are good to go. All right, so this is our just a quick little tutorial how to put these things on. And it is very scary to put them on because it's easy to bust the screen. And you want to make sure you got those lined up because if you don't, then you're done. So anyway, all right, so thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. And this is going to go into Patreon first. Patreon members get to take a look at this first. And then it'll go live on YouTube a day or so later. All right. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And on that note, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.